Oh, hey, everyone who is watching us on YouTube later. Uh, welcome. <laughs> we just finished with a post yarn, and since we still have over an hour left, we decided might as well wash off all that blood and gore with some <laughs> seawater. Yeah. And also just feast fair, considering how we've been unable to sleep for a few days. Yeah. So we can get at least some of this game going. And with some luck, we'll find some more of the dredge content. I, I was honestly expecting we'd have a longer night with that, but uh, oh well. Day 46. <laughs> okay. That's too much money. I keep misreading that name. What did you read? The poor beagle sharks. <laughs> Ooh, steel sensor net and ammo box upgrade kit. Let's get this one. That Wait. probably means that there's going to be tuna out there. Okay, question. Beagle is a dog, correct? Yep. Also, right. something I've been forgetting for quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> Hello there, pizza. Coming out of the lurk. How are you doing today? Hello, pizza. I guess you were hiding from Achandrios. Yeah, I wouldn't want to piss him off either. Okay, level 3 is the maximum for the Crab Trap. And let's see how well far we can upgrade you. Okay, level 10 is max with 185 kilos of loot. <laughs> Wait, how are you doing, Pizza? Or did I just ask that? I... Hello. Bonsu Sushi is right next to the ocean. Kids love it. <laughs> Aww. Uh, you know how oh, good shrimp and mayonnaise go together, right? I wouldn't know because of things I've said before. I don't really think shrimp would be for me. Or at least not the little ones. Okay. Still need to upgrade something to that level before we can get to the last level of Cookstra. Let's see, pizza. Well, I was doing good till I got called an idiot by a streamer. My mental health is still not that great. Yeah, you know, who called you an idiot then, Pizza? Or do you not want to say that to, for the chance of causing <laughs> beef or something? Haven't we caught one of these before? Or is it just that it's been upgraded now? Oh well. Crabs. Horsehair crab. Still plenty of those to catch and just a bunch of... <laughs> okay, that's more aberrations than I thought there were originally. That's a fuck ton of them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see, rather not say the name, but you have rated them before. Okay. It's quite a list, so I'm not going to guess. All right. Okay, two or three, mm. four. Oh, we only need one more. Four. Polar Beagle Shop. Excuse me, fireworks, KQ down. <laughs> Just call them Beagle Sharks. Okay, a lot of rice come in. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sammy is now working us for a few days, for a week, about a week. So he will take care of growing everything and harvesting everything. Uh, let's put some high quality long. stuff in. <laughs> yeah, do we have a bunch of them? We have Liz, Marco, Tatum, Xterra, uh, just an unnamed one, Jess. Uh, I think this one was called Durban. Yep, that was Dur Durban Lord. Pizza lover. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, now, let's check I the fish farm. I, I think I told Rome this before, but R-O-M is the how we Swedes spell Rome. <laughs> yeah, we call Rome Rome. Is this uh, in the same way we spell, is talk about rum, or is how we spell uh, rum? Uh, did I send people? I think I sent people out on this patch to get ingredients. But... I hope so. But you keep forgetting to do it. Yeah. There. Okay. I'm missing a breeding pair for the Uncle Tonkos. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should try to catch a, yeah, a few live uh, tuna 
to see if we can get some breeding pairs of those. That would certainly help a lot if we get another tuna uh, festival at some point. Now, all the sharks just turns at once to one point there for a second. Uh, but beyond that, I don't really have a plan for today with this. Hmm. Best I'm gonna hope. Best I'm hoping for is that we get more red mist days, so well we can Ooh, get more red yeah. <laughs> content. Yeah, it says I suspect they will bring up more story. <laughs> At least I hope they will. And I forgot to swap out weapons. Oh uh, well, I wanted to get the uh, the the, the harsh dart, but oh well. Yeah, I do feel a bit confused why she gave you the option to turn them away. I don't know if it was for the night or for as long as you want or something. Yeah, you mean turning the hooded figures away? Yeah. yeah probably because you know, some people wouldn't really want to have them just sit taking up space and constantly eating stuff that's other people could be uh, getting uh, they're taking for <clears throat> more pricey foods perhaps all, all in all it, it's i like that they give the option to uh, let you turn them away yeah, let me double check there's only a few here unattained okay i think we've caught every fish in this region or area and yeah, shortfin mako, marlin, yellowfin tuna, and bluefin tuna. Those are the ones we still need breeding pairs of. The marlin we should be able to find if the ship, if the cargo ship spawns. <clears throat> and we'll just have to see. Cheap Japanese sword. I did not mean. Oh well, that's one of those used. I. <laughs> I wanted to tear the sword apart for materials, but yeah, we can't do that. Okay, what just got caught? Okay, I was going to say, don't tell me just one fish, but no, it's two fish. <laughs> okay, bit of a waste, Wait. but still Hold on. a bit funny. Hold on, two small fishes that can easily swim out of the damn chain got stuck. Yep. Those are some dumb fish. Yeah. Also, just for this thing... There yeah, we go. I mean, but I think Alien, my friend here, is developing a, his own great book of grudges against this specific kind of shark. <laughs> yeah, the Threshers. Or, or all sharks, actually. For you, you have been struggling to... Against all sharks. Yeah, they are supposed to be a struggle, after all. Uh, also, yeah, Dis discard this thing because our dive knife does more damage. And let's keep looking around for well, tuna and such. Hmm. And beyond that, I think we just have to well wait and see if there is more story content. Has been added beyond this. Come I on, hope catch. so. But what is if he would for the? They always add a lot of new uh. fish from the dredge content. So it feels like there should probably be a lot of story. Ooh. Double. Almost. Okay, I'll take it. It was almost a triple. It was this close of a triple, but still. That has to be your first double catch of tuna. Definitely. I think I've caught other things in the net double before. Like, yeah, it, but yeah you just did accidentally yeah. with those tiny fish. I meant the bigger things, but still. <laughs> okay. I'm going to save uh, the last of the... Uh, I'm going to save at least one drone use for if we run into a Mako shark. Uh, do I grab the darts, or... Actually, there's not much need for me to take one, since we do... 
the only th big things that I need to capture alive here are the big ones, or technically alive. I need to catch... I need to use the drone to get them, so I don't actually need them alive. Actually, I wonder... Lucky. What's the size limit for those chains and the machine? Hmm. I think... I'm guessing it's the, big, the really big sharks, like uh, the Mega Mouse. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense for... I think you... Like, we have a Don Colostius. Those are damn big. True. I think we got those from... Hmm. From killing it and bringing it in with the, with the drone, though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, if I recall correctly, the Mako Shark liked the shallow waters, or shallower side of waters. So let's go around a bit and see if we can run into it. Give me that. Hmm. And also, one other thing I almost forgot. Uh, there is that last Eco Watcher thing. And apparently, that statuette spawns in. Uh, <clears throat> Spawns in one of the ice caves, the one where we were double teaming with uh, Sawim. Or I think I might have gotten his name wrong, but you know who I mean. Tony Rider. No, Mister, uh, I'm so great, but oh, needs our help yeah. at every turn. I'll take that. Okay. Now we've gone. Yeah, we're below 50. Anything down here that I need to catch? Sailfish, some crabs, anglerfish, big eye trevally, hammerhead. Okay. Let's try and keep an eye out for this one then. And this one is going to be really easy to spot. And have I been have I been overlooking crab spots so far? I haven't actively kept an eye out for them. Oh, is that a hammerhead? No, that's a pot. No, here. Oh yeah, hammerheads. Okay, hammer, meat nail. I was just to say, don't make a nail yoke. Well, we nailed it, so there's no need for fear anymore on that. <laughs> uh, it, even in death, the shark just go, oh, oh, oh what a yoke. The question uh, is, right. did the harpoon kill the hammerhead or the pun? Let's go with the pun. <laughs> oh, Let's... dear. Okay, I do like that I can fend... Wrong way, Dave. I do like that I can fend these off easily now, just with the knife itself. Uh, let me double check. Instead of thinking what that knife mean, what's in your head? If... Mm -hmm. Is oh, that what I, I think I accidentally used an Australian accent yeah, where I went for a British one. <laughs> Okay, now the yeah, schooner... You know what meme I'm talking about. Um, drawing or a bit a of a toy. blank at the moment. Uh, so apparently, uh, some mother asked but his son is running around with it, and he, also, he holds up a knife. Ew. And then you hear her so say, no! Just poke its nose, yep. <laughs> and then kill. Yeah, this rifle is really good to have when needing to deal with these guys, huh? Really, Dave? Really? What? I just noticed, each time he finished his em emote there, he turns it around and give it the thumbs up. You've probably now noticed, like, 40 hours in. 
Yeah, I haven't really took that deep of a look when he, uh, what he does once he finishes the animation. I want to just re mm. return to his noble cash roll, but yeah, now I just know that he actually does a fun. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, leaving that aside then, let's go to look over here. We've already caught a marlin, I believe it was, and well, we can't really use a drone to catch another, try and catch another, but we can still take a look down here for any fish. Yeah. <laughs> Again, those things, I keep forgetting they're here, and then a little boing noise. <laughs> I had forgotten about them as well. Uh oh. Hmm. Is it me or is this one smaller than the other one? It's the was Timmy. <laughs> I named that one too quick. Yep. <laughs> okay. I see a seahorse. Gosh. Hmm. Okay, no big fish here this time, except for well, the threatening shark. Mayo! Uh, may as well make some I use out of these. Mayo. I should probably buy some regular mayo for... Most mayo I've been buying of late have been the most spicy mayos. Okay, um... The sriracha right. mayo? I have eaten that. But it's not that, but the bloody sriracha mayo has been a while. Uh, sriracha me was the first thing with sriracha I ate. <laughs> All right. But that was because my mother bought it accidentally, and if I saw the bottle, of water, I just started laughing. That which made her nervous. <laughs> okay. I thought, well, it's we should can try. I thought, oh, this is good. It was too spicy for her. And I okay. tested regular sriracha. Regular sriracha is more spicy than uh, sriracha mayo uh, to begin with. Let's put some dead barracuda in that. I haven't looked up anything on the on the crab traps on what is best to put in them. Crab traps. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's. Uh... <sighs> it's a comical rhyme name. I wonder if it'll still activate if we stick close to it. Is it, it... Just don't get hmm. stuck in it yourself. <laughs> now, Dave might be a hungry man, but he's not that desperate. And I'll just catch some other stuff around. Most of our fish needs are being dealt with or being provided with by the fish farm now, but still good to get some, well, Extra fresh stuff that hasn't yeah. been slaughtered on the morning before. But yeah, I miss mayo, I miss spicy food for... The last few days, I actually been cutting down those spiciness a little bit due to uh, what my belly to recover. Yeah. Again, good thing to keep it simple, uh, to take it easy after being sick, because you're st even when you already feel better, your body is still recovering, so overdoing it Indeed. would only get you sick again. Indeed, and I had to deal with, uh, before stream, my, uh, my little nephew. But I, I told this before stream, with him that I let my little nephew watch some things on my PlayStation, on YouTube there, that's how I watch YouTube, on my PlayStation. Ooh, he quickly, that? just from observing me, I put me by the way, he's three years old. He quickly learned from a short moment how to use my controller to turn on and off uh, switch uh, videos on my PS4. Yeah, kids learn uh, a lot faster than people think sometimes. Yeah, here's, here's another point. I, we put them in a way for him. It was a show he wanted to play, we did, we did not want him to play, but he would ape him up too much. Then he took the other controller and activated it. <laughs> and that is why you and need to put locks on stuff, because kids will <laughs> kids will try to get in when they think, uh, even when you tell them to not to do stuff and such. 
He has a really good at that for He has been by my PC a few times and not touched anything. He just looked and did nothing. So he, he, he is obedient. Okay. And I told him to not play with the box. He put it back with a problem. Let's see. Pizza. I like spicy, but not too spicy. Okay. There. Not like we, that yeah, thing like, could become like any spicy, uglier. But I don't like, I, uh, you will not see me go with the California Reaper or something like that. Or see, they can be known mm -hmm. as Satan's Toenail. <laughs> okay. This was a, a, this is a funny story. But did you remember Red the Lake for Good Mythical Morning? Maybe. Yeah, the, one of the challenges with spicy food, Red said something about it tastes like Satan's toenail for him oh, to know how yeah. spicy it was. <laughs> and of course, people who does work with spicy food saw that her clip of thought, he just had a new candy. So they released it and they even quoted Red a link for being the inspiration behind the damn candy. And the damn <laughs> candy, of course, showed up on the show. And yeah, Wrecked almost croaked on that one. Let's see, only thing we're missing here is this this stupid thing and the spider crabs, of which I still don't know how to actually catch those alive. <clears throat> okay. We're nearing our limits on material. So let's head out. We can on the next part of the day we can go to the glacial zone, deal with that uh, poor with that remaining poor beagle, go look for the statuettes and see what the hell that plastic that bag from Eco Watcher is about. Yeah. Obviously quote some uh, quote no not quote comment here that when you see Dave with a book while going up, it's an actual thing divers do. Yeah. Because well, it takes a long time to uh, for the body to get yeah, adjust to the changed atmosphere again. Indeed. Let's see. Okay, bluefin oh, tuna dear. row, hammerhead row, California spicy lobster row. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> what? Eel, spiny, not spicy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, you said California spicy lobster. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, that would probably be one way to get me to eat lobster, make it spicy. <laughs> okay. That one I knew you did be say. That would also make me sense for me being sp about spicy food a lot now. Okay, I, I must have had those California spicy rolls on the heads. <laughs> because that's a sushi type. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, Jake Allenstone. Uh, uh. Let's... Uh, oh. Let's see here. The only type of spicy food I can only handle is... I don't know if you guys have, have it there or anywhere else, but it's called Perry Perry Spice and it's super... Good. We don't Can't have it, heard of but that. I have heard of it. Through mm. good mythical morning. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I knew about it, for they talked about it and they mentioned it was spicy. Nope. Watch out for the head eye. Immediately, the narwhal has a point to make. On guard! Okay, you're not what we're after, but I'll take you all the same. Okay, I don't know if I dare to show my nephew the normal song. Nope. What are these? They don't... Oh, yeah, gelatinous snailfish. Okay. I might as well I grab said... them since they're hurt anyways. Okay, some people are here about my nephew. Whenever he visits and come up to my room, for that specific he wants to go right away. Yes, I bet I'm the cool uncle already. He goes to my room and storms to my bed and tucks himself in. Deep. 
big gun. I don't know why that's so adorable. Even my little brother actually saw this today and for the first time and he actually had to take a photo of it. <laughs> Again, what's his spell of law? No, that's a, uh, I keep finding those stupid things. Uh, watch out. There's a school of fish. Yep, and those would attack uh, us. Uh, okay, Derpulees. Uh, what did you just call it? Derpulees. Oh, God. You can't tell me that that face on that thing doesn't look derpy. Derpy? <laughs> yes, but derp police! They're, I'm sure they would attack anyone, for they are actually, in real life, extremely slow. Yeah. <clears throat> now, where was that? I think that cave was over here. And see, see, it, see. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, go ahead, Lily, and read that. Uh, kids can be all sorts of things. They can be rude, idiotic, sympathetic, nice, empath empathetic, and all the other stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. this is the right one. I agree with you there fully, pizza lover. God of pizza, I mean. Yeah, I just call them pizza and it'd be easier. That's a yeah, that looks like another gelatinous snail fish, so of no interest. Yeah, do I should probably remember to not... Yeah, this would be bad idea for me to eat pizza if God of Pizza's around. If I was going to call them pizza. That would probably get confused, especially if someone walks in and think I'm talking to the actual pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, you, you can see yourself that could happen. Oh, my right, pizza, how have you been today? Mm -hmm. Someone walks in and see me with a pizza next to me and go, Are you talking to a pizza? That could happen! Hello. Uh, okay, from God of Pizza. I mean, I speak of experience. I used to be a kid once. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all have been a kid once. <laughs> and yeah, Screw we it. have done wonderful but also stupid things. Uh Okay, seriously, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> uh, whatever these are. Okay. Actually, just of course I miss. Okay, I need an I need an oyster or something nearby quickly. A blue oyster? Yeah. Oh, wait, blue oyster. Why is that? Why does? Why did I go with that? You? Why does that? Spiny oh, eel. Wait, blue... Blue Oyster Club... Blue Oyster Club is a band, right? Not sure... Oh wait, yeah, I, I think they... I think Blue Oyster was the one that made the original Don't Feed Reaper. Could be, yeah. So, hmm. I learned about the song from a... a SCP, SCP music video... ...of some people doing the cover of that one. <laughs> okay. I like both. I like both versions. Mm. So I think I'm like the SCP version uh, where the cover one a bit more probably things to the SCP video I saw with it. Yep. Almost missed that because of the ice coloration. There we go. Full restore. Okay. Have we caught any of these before? I can't say this one looks familiar to me. And we've never caught any of those spiny eels before. So there might be other species here we haven't had before. Lumpfish. Okay. It does look lumpy. Yeah. Oh, you think I've been feeling something again? I, I keep saying that! <laughs> Um, Arctic cards, and the rest is a collapsed here. I, I'm gonna let, let Hillian read this. Let's see. Drakir me, me, lad, I know what you can call me. Call me GOP. That's... 
I'm gonna learn to just call you pizza and try to not eat an actual pizza when we talk to each other. Hmm. That statuette was supposed to be somewhere around here, according to what I fucking saw online. It's supposed to be one that is a bit static here until it's collected. Hmm. Yeah, at the least, we can catch some more of these lump fish. Hmm. You know, I'm curious. What's the difference between a lump and a bump? <laughs> Good question on that, actually. Probably more of a. Probably more of a just. Uh, 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 what I want to say is that it's probably more just that it actually means the same thing. And, though there is perhaps just a more specific meaning of the words. But I will. Peace has an answer. Can hear you? Uh, let's see, I can read this. A lump is a mass of swelling that is often hard to detach and can be located under the skin or deeper within the body. Okay. A lump is a raised area on the skin that often caused by an injury or infection. According to bump is the action to create a lump. All right. All right. Hmm. Now, where could this blasted statuette be? It, it yeah, is I'm supposed to be it's... somewhere around here. I like this god more than Hera. <laughs> the god of pizza is actually answering. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, the answer is, oh, uh, the answer always seems to be pepperoni. <laughs> they did not want to mention pepperoni in this answer. <laughs> yeah, even they got confused. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll cut this one. Hmm. Okay, where is that thing supposed to be? Because the rest of here is just collapsed. Hmm. Okay, maybe where I looked it up was wrong then, but that would that that would be a nuisance. Did I just spot something here, or is that no? Hmm. Okay. Well, e even what if we don't find that statuette here or the pedestal or whatever it was, we can still go look for poor beagle sharks. <clears throat> To deal with and maybe there's a, actually i believe there is there should be another entrance because we did get out of this place after it collapsed so there has to be another entry point as well yeah hmm. wait what what i think i saw it wait is that it no, or that's is it... part of the mechanism up there. No, no, not the like mechanism. Uh, more by the thing that looks like a mushroom. It looks like the... I don't know if that's a plant or the damn jade thing. That's a plant. It's in the background. Yeah, it's, it's in the background. So, yeah. I guess if it were something we were to go, it would not be that far in the background. Definitely, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's check up here still actually no that's we came there yeah, we came through there just before also, so yeah i guess we have to find it in the other through another entrance oh dear <laughs> also fun fact i never even eaten pepperoni pizza okay we don't have pepperoni on pizza around here where i've been eating at Salami? yes but not pepperoni for some reason i asked for pepperoni once I got salami and actual pepperoni peppers. 
<laughs> okay. Hello. What the? I don't remember you. We can figure it out once it's been brought up to the surface. Let's see. Maybe I have seen, but I don't remember it being that big. Trapanesis, it said, or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't like pepperoni peppers themselves. I actually tried to eat them and realized, not for me still. Let's put one of these in here. And then we just wait for a bit. And you come up and <laughs> see that it has a... Just an angry sea scorpion there. <laughs> Yeah, I was half expecting a crab to come out because it was on top of, well, a crab spot. Okay, just pick a fight with this ugly thing and by the time we are done, I'm presuming we'll have crab in the box. And I need to... Let's see. Pizza, but... Oh my god, a pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and extra cheese is my favorite. Sadly, I can't eat pizzas because I uh, need, uh, do need that blood sugar lower. It does not reach like 400 or something. I typically go for hot and spicy pizza. <clears throat> hot and spicy pizza? I have tried with spicy sauce on it, but hot and spicy? Oh, yeah, there right. we go. I'm curious on that one. Let's see what's in this surprise box. Dolocaris in in gems. Okay. So you actually got the bloody sea scorpions. <laughs> Just tiny ones is dead luckily enough. <laughs> enough big okay. ones. I accidentally called it. I accidentally called things a lot, don't I? Apparently, yeah. Uh, let's see For one of those. Worse. For again, people, I've been right accidentally way many times, and I'm not gonna brag about it. For many of the times, I regret being right. <laughs> this basically mm. means you don't want to brag about it. Yeah. And at that point, when you would start bragging about it, would probably be the time where you would stop being <laughs> right with your guesses. Really. I usually surprised when I'm a guest, right? Hmm. Oh, disappointed. Let's see, there should be another a poor <clears throat> vehicle around here somewhere, or maybe just non spawns on this run. Uh, from uh, Pizza, just a sec, BRB Mozzarella is freaking out. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm gonna guess they. Nicknamed uh, something that? I'm gonna oh, put snub, one of these snub. in there. Okay, now I misread there something. What did you read? Snob nosed. <laughs> you know, it was snob, snob with a U, with an O. Yeah. But says I misread there for oh, alright. Fish being snobbish. Okay, no more drone uses, so we just carve this one up. Is this me? They look like you could use them as a giant frisbee. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and welcome got back. Welcome back to pizza. Put one of these in there. Another snail fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Wait, I just realized something. Oh. I'm wearing the wrong helmets. <laughs> Look at this long. That, that may explain why it's hard to see anything at the moment. <laughs> okay. Let me just grab some stuff here. Then we go collect the crabs. Take another look for poor beagle sharks. But after that, we can probably call it a dive. Hmm. 
Okay. As much as this game centers around diving, Bancho Sushi could hardly be described as a dive, huh? Depends. Depends on the... If you use it metaphorically for... Metaphorically, you could say it's a glorious dive into cuisine. <laughs> or glorious In dive into good cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I... Yeah, I got a good counterpoint against you there. <laughs> but yeah, in the typical meaning of like a crappy little, uh, <laughs> crappy little dining establishment, that it certainly is not. Little oh, still, no, no. yes, but crappy far from. Far from. Okay, now can we find that blasted lost shark? Do we need to go look for it another day? We might as well speed up a little bit, since we're close to where we can regenerate air anyways. Gravity launcher. <clears throat> Let's see, pizza. That felt like you were gonna say call it a day, but switch mid-sentence to say dive, so it sounded like you said call it a dive in an Australian accent as well. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I was pondering on uh, making that kind of yo, but yeah, it kind of did, didn't he? <laughs> now I could have messed it up worse and called it a Dave. And call it a Dave? Yeah, I was pondering in that uh, to be your uh, way of uh, ending the stream. <laughs> Sounds, as we all know. Alien enjoys tormenting people with puns. <laughs> it is me giving people their just punishment. <laughs> and there's the poor beagle. <laughs> its luck was poor. Oh, poor, poor beagle shark. Okay, that still leaves the question, though, of where that damn jade thing is. Let's see, that's the new... <clears throat> that's a new bit that we cracked open. And luckily enough, we have a mirror to just go back quickly here. And yeah, uh, first hello, uh, gemstones. There's also something more. Hail, seriously, are you gonna break the golden rule behind snowball fights? Don't throw okay. ice balls or a snowballs with stone. But you can't really call it a snowball fight when you're throwing, when you're just blatantly having an ice cube instead. Yeah, and I have to been hit by those. They hurt. Yeah. Luckily, they hit me with a thick winter jacket. Let's just go to the sea people first. <clears throat> <laughs> I would let you read this one, Hill. Yeah, those puns are on dad puns level. <laughs> they are. They are. Okay. There we go. Cleared out the boards. We'll have to see uh, if we get any new ones later. I almost forgot the Dave statue. Now that's probably a significant... Okay, I thought for a moment that there's a new quest there, but no, that's just him on alert because the uh, crops are ready. Actually, now that looking at David the statue, I might have a... Okay, a joke theory. What then? Dave is Robotnik's son. <laughs> <laughs> that could work as a joke theory, doesn't it? Yeah, since they're both rather egg-shaped. Yeah, just look at the statue. You can see why. Uh, we, we don't know Dave's last name, I think, so we can say that it is Dave Robotnik. Okay, let's see. Pizza. I have fractured broken the foot of a kid when I was once a kid uh, by throwing a big rock at his foot. The rock was as big as and wide as my current laptop. Uh, 
get it. <laughs> it's understandable how that managed to break their foot pizza. Holy! I hope they're okay. Like the worst I ever broke with a big rock was a window. And I, I should I have broke a window with an apple. Okay, I should, I should have brought those uh, yeah, seahorses to um, <clears throat> the casino, but oh well. Yeah, for context, I was to uh, his thing. Someone called me for, uh, me if I wanted to hang out, but I ha had no <laughs> money on my phone, so I could not reply. So I went over to uh, this was a doom school. So I took a rotten apple. And thought, okay, this will just splat against the window. You will hear it. <laughs> no. It went halfway through, so it was a double <laughs> layer, and it went through the first half. And he did not hear it! His neighbors did! <laughs> okay. So they noticed so that um, someone accidentally broke me broke your window. And they go, oh, wait, you broke it? Yeah, I was still. That'd be reported. I did not need to pay for it, luckily enough. But still, I still feel ashamed for it. <laughs> for, I was just to use a rotten apple to just bomb it. I did not expect for a rotten apple to pierce the damn window. Yeah, well, you don't often hear about apples breaking glass, but oh well. Now let's see, the heck is this thing? An, ar an arthropod with large compound eyes that lived in the Jurassic era. It has a rigid shell like a crab and three pairs of legs. It is likely caught and fed on small organisms at the seabed or ambushed its prey. Okay. But it, what the heck? It looks freaky. Yeah, it look it looks alien. Oh, the, you should have seen the first life forms then. Okay, let's on over to Bancho. And we brought some new ingredients over. And apparently we've never had Greenland shark meat brought at the end. Hmm. Uh, also, I, why do I get the feeling I lost the, the notes where I kept who are the best? Uh, here they, here's the notes. I still left it in this thing. Uh, yeah, I said I would do some work off screen, but I didn't get to do that, I think, or I just <laughs> didn't feel much up to it. Um, let's see, we've brought, we've, yeah, we've gotten all of the upgrades that we can at the moment. So I think we probably should start upgrading some people here for, well, replacing some staff. Yeah, uh, let's see, I will say you... you should only upgrade uh, characters when you know you have a stable enough economy to do it. Yeah. For, again, they will, you will need to pay mo them more. True. Hmm. Let's let's oh, go yeah. with this for the moment. And if Eat need be, Mr. we can Burak. put something else on the menu. Just to yeah. test things out a little bit. Also, also before I forget, what is our tastiest thing at the moment that we can actually upgrade? Marlin sushi. Yeah, the, yeah, the cap of Marlin. Uh, let's see. We're going to need a lot more <laughs> to get it up high enough, though. But it, let's wait on a second. That is uh, 30... 37 extra? That that should be able to hit uh, 370 on the, on its absolute max. Let's see if we try. Yeah, 370. If we can enhance that again. Okay, so that means we should go hunting for marlins as best as we can. Because this will get us to the point where we can max get our max rank on Cooksta. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't from Nemo there, Pizza. I don't from Nemo. This might re reach as well. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think this would hit. The, the mark as well, uh -oh. but we need a bunch more uh -oh. hammerheads as well for that. Uh, did, you take, did, did you take a look at the picture? Uh, yeah, it's a tiny hammerhead. 
on a bit of rice. <laughs> hmm. Red ream. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save up marlin meat then. As also, actually, hmm, let's see this. If we enhance that to 50, so 24. Uh, 24 times 5, 120. This would not. Yeah, this might hit as well. Hmm. But we would need a lot of Titan trigger fish and coral trout. Beyond that, it's just rice. Are there any more complicated dishes that might be able to reach the level that we need? Let's see. Starry Puffer. A 25. 125. On top of that, that would not hit the amount, I think. Hmm. I, yeah, I think there's a... There's, we're going to need a new recipe to be able... <clears throat> that would get close, but... I think Marlin Meat is the best option we have at the moment. Yeah, and Let's I just saw one of the fish names. 120, Green Hump Head Adderfish. Hump Head? That sounds like an insult! <laughs> Let's see, the highest here is 185. Uh, okay. Hali Nima tuna sashimi. Sashimi consisting of only the finest pink fatty tuna cuts of bluefin and yellowfin tuna. The dish is decorated with a white Helionema in the center, adding to its aesthetics. Whatever the heck that is. <clears throat> but we need more artisan's flame for that. Let's try and get... Wait, hold on. We can check details on it. I'm guessing that would be the recipe. Yep. Hmm. They should see. Oh, it's a. It might be a seaweed oh. type. Yeah, it's, it's seaweed. Yeah. Okay. Let's save up for that. Beyond that, let me take a look here. Uh, Nino and Co. Or was it? Hmm. I forgot the note. Keep. I forgot to keep track of which were the best combination with the skills. Uh, let's see, Ko, you serve cocktails as well, and you are higher rated than Rapture. You also have Tipmaster. Uh, is the... Okay. <laughs> Apparently the game got deselected for a second there. Let's see, serving... Oh, I need more Wait water. Wait a second. Like, okay, I think they're little bastards, and they're little lovely bastards. Maybe so warm earlier that I feel dry. <laughs> Just they're all adorable, but you also had the, these constant on golf road. They went up the stairs a lot. You have to go to my room. Hmm. This man, okay. I have to follow them a lot as well. Okay, I might have gotten the order wrong here, then, with my notes, because it puts Ko above Raptor. So that could mean that Ko gets... Uh, at the moment, there is about a 100 difference in their serving, but it might be that Ko gets more serving later on or such. I don't remember if that is a static upgrade per each or not. Hmm... Let's see... Second best chef is Charlie, so let's get him some training. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see if I get him to match with our current chef in level, who is level seven. He has, uh, yeah, he gets his skill there. Hmm. Okay, maybe the wiki, maybe the wiki is outdated or something. And I have done a few updates, so. And also, there True. again, it may be also be uh, the point of view of someone's uh, personal opinion. 
Now, it was more based on the total of their skill points in, uh, in the stat, I believe. I, I'll have to double check things. Hmm. But yeah, let's at least train these a little bit more. The level 10, since we know that these two are good. There. And yeah, Raptor gets just... an idea for something here. Rice with purple sea urchin sushi. Okay. Alright. And yeah, that was all, you almost had to think about, like, there was the stance, yes. But then also you had to get, get it in kind of the rule abilities and all that. Like, what fits your place there the best at times as well? True. Well, sometimes what what is recommended as the best time may not fit you or someone else necessarily. And also, mm. let's be honest, if everyone uses the same tactic... It gets boring. What did you say? It, it gets boring. Yeah. Hmm. It's probably why balancing PvP is a nightmare. Let's get Dre some levels, because he is supposed to be the best branch manager. I, I gotta have to see if Dre has played this game. Well, I would love to see his response to seeing uh, his, his character. Okay, he has cleaning and cocktail serving. Let's see, and he, had, he does have some overall high stats. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Yone still in still beats everyone at cooking. So let's get to her a little bit of training. Not that we need uh, much help Mac at this location. Uh, yeah, Mac has higher cooking. Yeah, she has the she has the most cooking of everyone in the game, I believe. And we could still train her higher. But I think for the moment we should keep things at 10 maximum to avoid, well, <clears throat> having to spend too much on people's salaries. Again, not that we're short on cash or anything. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a balance reason to not go... Well... was it? Not balls blazing. <laughs> okay. Like, no, let's this is see. definitely a game you don't want to spend all the money right away for every single upgrade. Like, you, you, you want some you know, left over <laughs> to carefully invest in the future. Okay. Putting him there does upgrade the max ranked from level 6 to 8. So that putting him in there instead of the Vina is an upgrade. Now the rest of you, let's see, 380 cooking, 320, Raul, you get to swap out with Charlie, Mitchell, 336 on serving, 338 there, 295, 350, okay, you lot can stick on as well. Hmm. Okay. I can. I think we can keep the mm, this menu as it is at the moment because they still have a lot of shrimp left from last, I believe. Uh, yes, how are your ingredients? Yeah, I'm good on that. What the heck? I, I, yeah, this game is definitely a labor of love. Definitely, yeah. Now. Did boiled and deep fried white shrimp need more than just the shrimp, though? That's the question I have at the moment. Or, actually, I think they make what I think they put on the menu what they uh, can make with what ingredients they have. Plus, beyond that, they have a bunch of other fish that they can still just serve as basic sushi. Oh, I, uh, I think uh, you want to bring the chef here, Helium. Actually. Uh, why is the... Oh, we're up and down with that. Uh, let's see. Pizza. 
If human cloning was legal, imagine the amount of the best people you could clone. Like, hey, that is the best chef to ever exist. Clone him and hire every other chef. But what do you end up with when they're the only chef in the business then? Yeah, like you were, you were the first. But, mm. yeah. It kinda loses its charm if everyone if they, is made from the same clone and all that. But made, no, made, made from the same. Yeah, clone of the best of the best. Like, you may enjoy it for a while, but. Yeah, who was there or innovative? Uh, it will get boring. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, give you a bit. <laughs> pizza, yeah, I'd be fine eating the same good pizza at every pizza place. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. We have gone over it before, but I think appeal is a thing for servers with a, how, a chance for tips or so. Not much more. It's never really explained what it does. Mm. I think we should be good as is. <clears throat> Next line is for you, Gukir, uh, from Pizza. You love like a goblin? I think you spelled goblin there, but alright. A second? Just stand where you are. Yes, can that. How your foot? Okay, no need to overdo it. Okay, okay quickly refill this. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping an eye on the counter. Six to go. Five. Oh, Raptor beat me to that one. Oh, what the? Oh, oh we, we, we can look. We can look at how things are going. Oh, press the wrong button again. Uh, we can check how things are going at the branch, and okay, that's that's going to explain why some we heard a lot of annoyed people over there. They they only put the best thing on the menu there, and uh, which ends with them well low on ingredients or low on dishes apparently. And uh, that was exactly enough. <laughs> Exactly enough dishes for everyone here. Let's see, back to 0 0.3 and a best score outside of... Well, best score in general, even with the special parties. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely need to... Uh, steal no. a lot of profit from them as well. And no ones this time. Okay, that... I'm pretty sure that... Okay, I'm pretty sure the best they did beforehand was like 2,000? Okay... Yeah, we're working it! And again... You, you still had like two, three angry ones? This time, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I trained some of the people up a bit more, huh? And put yeah. him in charge. Okay, uh, rainy day. Okay. Oh, some kind of mail is here. Okay, does that mean that there's another... Yep, there's a, there's a lobster party coming up. <laughs> you should have seen this coming eventually. Oh, no! <laughs> no, no, we're gonna have that song stuck in my head. There's a Swedish <laughs> call, song basically called Lobster Party. <laughs> uh, let's see, pizza, what the hell? How is it already <laughs> almost three hours of stream time? That one hour went by like five minutes. Yeah, this game... <laughs> this game makes time fly, so... 
Yeah, it's only like four and a half minutes left, so I I think we don't go dive. We'll still go deal with our daily stuff. But beyond that, uh, yeah, we'll have to save the next dive for the next time. Okay. Time to feed the cats. Looks like the lost is going hooray. You're still the kitty. <laughs> A Catman achievement, feed cats 20 times. So for some reason that popped up in the corner of my monitor again, instead of in the corner of the game. I still don't get why that sometimes happens. I thought I'd fix that. Oh, well, it's not like that's too important. Okay. Uh, this game. And for people wondering what song it is, if you people look up Kreft Kalos, you may probably know what song I'm talking about. So that is spelled in a Swedish with Swedish letter or crap. Hmm. Okay, I haven't been on for the next time. Something I'll try to keep in mind is that we go look at the branch the entire night and see how they do things. I thought that it was all run in the background that you wouldn't actually you know, get to see stuff, but apparently you can now. Hmm. But yeah, we'll have to we'll have to try and get them better ingredients here. <clears throat> looks a little bit concerning. You see, Jason bloody war is the counter cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get a few of these each, so we don't run out of any. There's space in menu, yeah. Okay, and probably best to hand these over to Sammy. So he will make use of them as well. Okay. And okay. Might as well get some of these, since it's easier to just buy the ones that we have few of. Okay, yeah. That should do it. Okay, just <laughs> big N over it. And we can see which uh, Sammy is assigned to use. Okay. Let's put all of these in there as well. And can we check with you to adjust things a bit? Yeah. Okay, those as well, and those as well. Okay. All of the fertilizers. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I might need to change things up a bit so he uses the, the fertilizer earlier so it doesn't go into the yellow, but that's just a small thing. Anyways, uh, Pizza has two people to probably raid. Uh, one called S1K1F and the other is Lashris. <laughs> Lashris online? Okay, we can definitely take a look at them. Yeah, they, they've been at our streams a few times. True. So, so if it's kind of nice to raid them a bit. And they have also helped us with Sonic. Yeah. Still, we'll, we can take... We can still give the other one a look. Just to be fair. Mm -hmm. That was mostly shrimp, I believe. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I might try to do some stuff off screen again to fill in any uh, <clears throat> to fill in any breeding pairs that we need still here, like the jellyfish, the box jellyfish down there. Uh, but the moment that new possible content would come up, I would uh, stop then. Like if the mist rolls in again, I'll I'll record it just to be certain that I don't miss stuff. Yeah, the, that's a, but the, the, I feel like David Derby is one of the games that is hard to do off screen on. Okay, now was the stream timer going off. What day? It's a Wednesday in game, so there's no chance of me accidentally getting another fishmon because those only come up in the weekend. And those are quite the clouds in the background. Yeah. Those look. Those look. Those look from like from our photo or such. 
Oh yeah, I have to see those in real life though. Those are really damn pretty. Dude, they can also be really spooky at times, like when it looks like there's a giant eye in the sky. Yeah, it looks... I'm... <clears throat> it makes me think that there's a storm upcoming or something in the coming days for Dave. Yeah, here's why I am hesitant about the trees uh, doing off-screen uh, playing of this. Like, hmm. most games I would probably advise that, but this game is those I feel hesitant to do that with. Oh, Pizza wants a screenshot of that for his background. Oh, okay, I'll start the game up again quick. Okay. <laughs> uh, what you won't do for your fans, huh? <clears throat> Actually, I can probably make... I can probably make... give you... I can probably make a screenshot myself and send that to you. Since, uh, well, you wouldn't have uh, Dave's, not Dave's, Vakir's hat in the way of it. So, just hey, start this up here. Actually, <clears throat> it's a fucking hell of it. <laughs> I'm practical. Okay. Then, print screen. And I'll send it over in a sec. For now, we had enough. Okay, the game reacted a bit late there, so it sends us back here again. Okay, anyways, might as well move this over here so I can check if the print screen even worked. Yes, it did. Okay. All right, then let me close this off again. This time for real. And we can go look for Hooter Raids. Okay, there we go. Let me move this forwards. I'll have to edit the clip from earlier. Okay, now let's see who is that first one again. Uh, let me scroll up over here. K1 and now S1. S1, K1, F. I'm guessing you could read that as Civic or yes, Sikif, maybe. <clears throat> uh, let's see. They're playing the finals, which is a new uh, free-to-play, uh, <clears throat> free-to-play shooter I've heard about. So it's been in the ads quite a bit. And from what I've heard indirectly, it is really good. Also, with a lot of destructibility that you would typically more find in uh, battlefield games or such, and <laughs> visible here, for me at least, a lot of mobility as well. It actually reminds me a bit yeah. of another of these types of games that. I saw before that I think went down, but that's what you have with just an oversaturated market like this. Okay, now let me change the screen share so you can also take it. Uh, yeah, so you can also see uh, Twitch go live. Let's see. The other people who are online at the moment is, as always, Dr. Misunderstood, who is playing Lost Judgment. Let me take a peek at that. Don't remember that name or if there's a game. No, uh, this doesn't look familiar to me. It looks a bit like. Uh, hmm. It looks a bit similar to the Yakuza games or such in the style. Uh, is it T1? Is it, maybe it's new? Uh, yeah, I could. Hmm. I think more they mean day one in the game, or, or actually now I think about it, it's prob it may be a bit closer to Shenmue or something. Anyways, next up we have I'm Nice, who is playing Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. Codenamed Ferret is playing Warhammer 40k. Come on, show me what the game is. I'll, I'll take a peek then. Rogue Trader, okay. Theory Pop is playing Last Train Home. Lil Tree Live is playing Valorant. Last Race is playing Freedom Planet 2. Chubbers the Moon Seal with World of Warcraft. They've been busy with that for a while. Dugget Douglas McDog is playing Left 4 Dead 2. It's a birthday stream, apparently. Then we have Grem the Wolf with Lethal Company. Halloween, for, uh, Halloween is playing Prey. Is that the old or the new Prey? It's the new Prey. And, okay, last but not least, we have Touch Scaly Tail with Born of Bread. The heck? 
Uh oh. Oh, this game. Now I remember. For a moment, I thought it was linked to I Am Red. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I for that as well. Any of those you would suggest, or shall I take a pick? Uh, I'll let you take a pick. Let's go visit Lash then. Yeah. Let me okay. serve it. So. Copy the name, slash raid, and paste. And before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. And do we have any other lurkers around? Let's see, Sensei is around. Hey, Sensei. Hello, Sensei. And let's see, tomorrow, well, tomorrow is the 31st of December, so it's going to be fireworks day. We'll have to see if I can stream in the evening. Uh, but I will definitely try in the afternoon, so we can do a Showcase Sunday. Or would you rather we try and catch up with something else? I would say, let's... It's New Year's, I say let's try and catch some, with something up. Okay. Uh, more Dave or Sonic? I say Dave and Sonic indeed, since... We, we could take Sonic in the, in the afternoon and Dave in the evening. Uh, the afternoon is going to be uncertain, so I'm thinking, well, I think we should put Dave in the afternoon then. <clears throat> Point taken. And actually, yeah, it would be fitting. Like, if we all able to finish Sonic tomorrow evening, that would be just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I still need to get those, that upgrade for Knuckles in the... Uh, in the mine, I will I will probably get that off screen because otherwise I would it would just be going you know, yeah, going around looking at area again for the stupid emerald shards and yeah I don't know where the heck that upgrade is supposed to be so it could just be a, a waste of time with trying to find it for the longest time so I'll just do that off screen. <clears throat> probably wise. Okay, but for now then. Uh, thank let's get that rate started and yeah thank you everyone again who has been watching now or later and until next time have a nice <laughs> have a nice day and until then be safe everyone sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls <laughs> oh and because i forgot thank you as always Drake here you welcome as always my friend <laughs> until next time and happy new year if you don't see you before then yeah happy new year Thank mm -hmm. you.